I like this route, but that does seem a little bit blocked. Doesn't have to stay there, does it? Might as well, though, if you can find it like that. 76. Attempt. David, you're recording. Just 15. left Evans with a little more time to ponder as well. Yeah, that's the thing with those shots. It just gives you that more processing time if you're Games the second the dart's not in. Leg, David Evans. You can start processing for your shot, but the second dart is in for David Evans, and that is a 1-0 lead. Turns out it was, but the last one was in the wrong double. Game shot That's in the right leg. double, though, for Andy Hamilton. Andy Hamilton, who levels it up. I had to go into the local town. I bought three layers so I could put T-shirts underneath my playing shirt. Every player was having hand warmers in their pockets. Whoa, and in between shots, hands were going yeah, in the pockets. 145. The toilet had ice. Brilliant 180 from Andy Hamilton, a well-timed one as well, and nuisance though for David Evans, who was looking like he was in a good spot 49. in this leg, and suddenly Andy Hamilton has it in his hands. Well, that wasn't where he was Game aiming, I can assure leg. you of that. Andy the 17, Hamilton. yes, not the skinny bit of it, and he almost bust, hence the shake of the head. His opportunity to get back into that match. Yeah, quite Whoa, possibly. He's probably determined to prove folk like me and you wrong. And show that he's more than capable of taking his chances. He's not just a, a sitting duck at the foot of the table. And that is a sign of it because it's a 180 in answer to the match from Hamilton. But you have to be able with all these types of equations, trying to navigate the dart that's just lying a little bit awkward in the single one. Do you think maybe a step to the opposite side might make more sense here? Yeah, you can see from that angle how much he's got here. He's got one fifth of the bed at the most to the right hand side. Game but that is all Andy Hamilton match. needs. Andy Hamilton. Finds his way past. Recomposed himself there after a bad first start of the double. But unfortunately for David Evans, it is more of the same. Some missed opportunities at the back end of the game. Five. Shane requires 16. Game shot on the second leg. Shane McGurk. Full square, finally getting their arrow, Shane McGurk. This would be real salt in the wound, wouldn't it? Game A target. The fifth leg. Alex but McGurk Small. missed twice, hit twice by Small to steal the leg. Can you require 10? Game Great adjustment the there leg. from Shane McGurk. Shane had McGurk. no real margin for error. And he does push Small to a deciding leg on this occasion. 83. Alex McGurk, 18. Go shot on the match. Alex Small. Alex Small. Gets what could be a big win. When all said and done at the end of the day, he lifts himself onto six points. Now four adrift of the I believe he'd run into... Scott Mitchell in the semi-finals. 98. If the prediction is correct. 32. And I don't see him winning that one. Game shot on the first leg. And winning the Steve first leg Brown. of this one is Steve Brown. Steve, you require 20. Give him a little bit of a cushion in this one. Game shot on the fourth leg. Move himself Steve just Brown. one away. From the match. I've actually got to mention it in ours as well that he's looked a bit vulnerable at times, and Steve Brown has Game been getting better, the and he gets the Steve better Brown. of John Worsley for the first time this week. He tastes defeat. Steve Brown strengthens his opportunity to get through. And he required 33. But yet wouldn't go 14, double 18. Baffling. We know this one. This is a much simpler one. One for double 16. But Game one nil. Game shot on the first leg. Andy Hamilton. And it just makes you wonder 
36. Hamilton now wants that target for a 13 dart leg. Game shown the third leg. Andy Hamilton. Be happy enough with a 15. Full focus on his favourite double. Game and shot Andy Hamilton the match. gives Alex Andy Small Hamilton. a hammer ring. One hundred and eighty. John McGuire falls on the shoulder and says, "Don't forget about me yet, pal." Game. We can forget about him for this leg. John Worsley's gone the way of John Worsley, and I just want to jump back to that actually. A five oh one. As Evans looks to complete this leg of five oh one. In 18 darts, Game takes out 18 to do so. David Evans. And it's all square. 61. I know he didn't. 76 he had left, didn't he? But yeah, he could have gone for that treble 20 with the second dart then. Game shot the a, third leg. A David bad Evans. miss, but a good miss at the same time because it left him on a different double. Effectively take control of this match. He would be level, but he'd have the throw in two of the last three legs. Game show on the and that's where leg. we are. John Worsley. That is what we call a red pen moment. Was well, 16. Which the Womble will be throwing first. Game show on the sixth no leg. No drama that David time from Evans. David Evans. But his hopes 58. are on David Evans as coming back for two darts at double rather than three. He just keeps missing the opportunities. This one hasn't been missed yet. It is still there. But it will be just one dart at the double rather than the two. Is that tops? Go That's all David Evans match. needs. David one more Evans. opportunity. And this time, David Evans gets over the line and picks up a victory after five defeats. Yesterday, David Evans doesn't have to answer emails and the like. Answering all the questions on the dartboard Game and asking the questions of Shane McGurk, Steve who Brown. thus far has no answers. Chance One. to wrap it up. Game oh, he does it absolutely brilliantly match. on tops. Steve A Brown. thumping win for Steve Brown. Oh, John Worsley. As he rescued this shot. Game shot on the second leg. John Worsley. Nicely done. That'll just give him a little bit of a better feeling because he must have felt like he's been sinking in some bit. Like you say, everything is just a little bit slower. A little bit more measured. Got to make sure that any mistake is not done with reason, with excuse. Game shot on the Hamilton, third leg. Big, Andy big Hamilton. finish. His second 130 and he played it picture by picture would just simplify it. Just win one game. Win one game, and it doesn't matter what Andy Hamilton does. We talk about trying not to think too much, but there are moments like this, shots like this, where if they go in, you must feel like it's not going to be your day. Go and it is on in. the four flag. Andy Hamilton. This match in the first place. And that's Game that. And Worsley wins it. John and in Worsley. doing so, puts his neck. I believe. Game oh, shot good the shot there leg. from Steve Brown. Come, opportunity is gone. This is for a break of throw. Game shot on the fifth leg. Steve, Steve Brown. Steve Brown pushes himself within a leg of the match. Alex Small went 2 0 up in this one. It seemed. Brown getting better and better. And his Game winning run continues. Steve Brown Steve defeated Brown. the league leader John Worsley in his 70 there. McGurk. First opportunity at the ball. Game shot That's the all second he needs. Leg. Shane McGurk. Who's 26. A dead cat 180 to leave it. 
game. Jean and he pins a double 13. David no Evans. trouble at all. And McGurk. 47. Nearly back-to-back -back victories for David Evans. This would hurt. This would hurt. Game and we Shane said it got a bit scrappy, Shane but not McGurk. at the finish. Make it require 36. For the majority of players that aren't Game playing on the, the second at the moment. Alex Small. Alex Small did get a go at his favourite double. 134. Johnny McGuire, 77. And indeed the penultimate leg rather than the last one. Game on the sick flag. Super. 86. Set it off, he's left it. This is for the match. Again, then Small went for the ball, didn't he, to leave double 18. Now the ball Go to end the match. Worsley wins. 4-3 success Worsley. against Alex Small, who was in a great position in that game. But a turnaround. 40, and he won 144. Rank. Right now for Andy Hamilton. It was ranked very important. That is a lovely lie for Andy Hamilton. You just knew that one was going in. It's all about the double 12. Game shot on the third well, leg. It ranks Andy in the Hamilton. week for second best, but right now it's the most important. Andy Hamilton, a 1-4-4 finish. Two treble 20s. The double well, 12. To throw first. A hammer blow delivered to Shane McGurk. And his chances of getting into Group B look to have gone. Game shot out of the match. And that is Andy another Hamilton. battering. If you require 18. Never, ever give up a leg of darts. Game shot on the third leg. Steve Brown gets Brown. over the line in the end. And um, after a disastrous last few visits from Steve Brown, David well, Evans David to throw first. should be kicking Game himself. On. David, you require 116. By far the most impressive day of anybody so far. David Evans with his first dart at a double in this Game match. The gets his flag. first David Evans. Two 16. different codes. Game show on the sixth flag. David While Evans. We're staying on numbers. I might as well say it's three. 40. Game shot out of the match. Well, David who Evans. Who saw that coming? Three. First check out on offer is 103, and it's still on. The three first, then the 60, then tops. Game Shane McGurk was shaking his head as if, John well, he's Worsley. a man who's just been hammered by Andy Hamilton 4-0 for the second time in three days. And we saw some of this second from him John to throw first. Game in on. that match. John, you require 36. Well, he gets another go. Game shot on this the time, leg. Finds John the success. Worsley. Worsley Worsley required five. Can't clean up the remainder. The story of Shane McGurk's week continues to be written. Game and it is a shot familiar the trend. Match. Heart of the dartboard. I think he might just hit it in the forehead there going for that one. Double top. Game mm. shot on the second leg. Head beats heart this Evans. time. Uh, David Evans. And he got a 90. Well, this would be a sweet finish for Alex Small. Goes ball for top. Game shown the four flag. Alex Small. Really understand why when he absolutely loves double 18 and David Evans wasn't on a finish, but he took it out. So who are we? Game shot on the man. And a game that Alex looked like Small. David Evans was going to run away with it. To hear Matthew Egger, who did. At the start of the day, refused to be drawn on how things would reshuffle. He told Abby upstairs that he didn't think anything would change, and he's been proven right. Go oh, and that's right. The second leg. In the ball. Might as well go back to the sixes. Andy Hamilton has found five tumblers checkouts already this week. Can he make it six? Game shot with a hundred and flag. ten finish. Andy Hamilton. Andy Hamilton goes into pole position now for players that have taken out a hundred plus finish. Fifth leg, it's Andy to throw first. And Game is recorded. John Worst by sixty.
That's not the first time we've seen him do that, Andy Hamilton. I think three times now he's hit the skinny segment of a finish like 50. that. Once on the 17s earlier on, then Steve, the we're going 120s there. Can't be intentional. So precariously close to the treble. And he required 10. But it's double five. And Go all is well that ends well for Andy. Welcome back to the Moda Super Series, where this man next to me has just made it through to finals night on debut here at the Super Series. John, a fantastic debut campaign. When you came here on Monday, did you feel maybe you were the player to beat coming into the group? Um, well, I definitely didn't feel like the player to beat, but I knew I could perform and get through, whether it was the first time or Group B or C. I confident I'll get through, yeah. And Monday, some phenomenal displays from you. Of course, you kick-started the campaign with that 130 checkout. Then you had the 107 average. Really, really solid day. Yesterday, you did have to grind out some results, though, didn't you? How did you feel yesterday? Yeah, like... I started off with, I think it was an 86, and then I had 103, and then it seemed to get worse as the day went on. But today I just oh, struggled as well. How much does it play on your mind, though, coming into the third day of action, knowing that you only really need that one victory? Does that make it considerably harder for you? Yeah, I knew I only needed um, either to win one game or Andy to lose, and it so happened that I'd done both at the same time. <laughs> so how did you feel? You lose those first two games. How do you feel when you then have to play Andy Hamilton, knowing that game is so important, given that he'd won his first two games? Yeah, I, I was very nervous. I was nervous all day, to be honest, but yeah, very nervous. And I think I was in front of him on two legs, and then he banged out 121 on the ball and 130 30, on the yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that hurt a little bit. But I got him back. Yeah, and we can have a look at the league standings. There is no way anyone can catch you with just two games left to be played. Just sum up how you feel, because that is an incredible field to come through. You're on 26 points as well. Yeah, some great players amongst them. And not everyone showed their... F like, Dave Evans is miles better than that. I don't really know Shane that well, but Alex is a better player as well. So, yeah, Steve, Andy and myself. Yeah, I'm happy to get through that, definitely. And just sum up how you've found this whole Super Series campaign. It's brilliant. For anybody coming off the tour, to have this opportunity is massive. So, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone on Modus and yourselves and 